doing on the floor? Tidying up? Good boy. You had a good night's sleep? Can I have a kiss? Thank you. Good boy. You want your breakfast? Yeah? Let me go get it for you. You're laying down, aren't you? Let me go get your breakfast. Good morning, guys. So I just got down to feed in the morning. Um, hence the look. And yeah, it's a really nice day again. So I needed two hands to carry his breakfast. Um, so yeah, it's I've just fed him and I'm gonna either take him for a hack later or do a bit of schooling. So I thought um, I'd show you that today because we need a little update. I don't think you guys have seen me schooling him since like maybe my first lesson on him. So I feel like you need an update. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go check me out there because I post everything now. I have like schooling stuff and photos and stuff. So. You're probably gonna be more up to date there than here. I'm hopefully taking my box to be done in April. Um, so then we can start going out and about and there'll be so much new content and new places on my channel. So that'll be really exciting. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, I'll catch you guys in a bit. throws his breakfast down and then he doesn't eat this because it's mixed with shavings. Do you? You had a rough night, Willow. Yeah. <laughs> what have you got all over your head? You can get that out for you. There you go. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, JJ. Morning, Sam. <laughs> he literally has the, the cutest little voice. Good boy. <laughs> Hey guys, um, I'm just editing this vlog and apparently I forgot I was vlogging until I was on Chalky. Um, so the next thing you're going to see is me schooling that afternoon, so enjoy. So we hadn't done any schooling in about a week, so this is kind of a refresher for Chalky, getting him back and thinking about holding himself properly. So I had already warmed him up on like a loose longer rein uh, and it's me starting to collect him making sure he's listening to like my inside leg and moving away um, and then here progressing to trotting encouraging him to seek out the bit example of how on the forehand he gets like how awful was that halt <laughs> um so that's what we're really trying to stop get him sitting back rather than leaning and grinding to a slow halt <laughs> he has a real tendency to lean and get over bent and eventually we end up pulling ourselves along by his front leg so that's something that we're really trying to work on getting him to just sit back again but this is all things that just take practice and time <laughs> Thank you. 
this little shuffly trot that he's doing is him arguing with me about working. So you'll see more towards the end of this um, session, he eventually starts to relax and trot properly. But that trot there is his kind of argument with me. <laughs> I just had a really good ride on Chucky. I'm just poo picking quickly, hence why I still have my hat on. Um, but he was really good. It took him a while to warm up. Um, if we don't school like twice a week, he gets very opinionated about it. Um, so it's just like lots of bending, lots of transitions, and then he'll eventually kind of soften up. Sorry, I got distracted with droppings. Um, but yeah, it's not perfect. There's still obviously lots for us to work on. He's only, what, five. So there's going to be so much still for us to perfect. Um, but I am happy with his progress. Um, and like the main things I'm working on with him is like being soft and, sump uh, soft and supple and encouraging him to like reach long and low um, because obviously with his breeding he has a tendency to like hold his head up so I'm really trying to get him to like seek the bit long and low if that makes sense and, and like resisting the temptation to like bring him to me um, so yeah it's just trying to break those habits and then in the same breath trying not to let him like go down and over bend because he does have a tendency to do that as well so it's all just like a case of time and consistency and it'll all come together. That was kind of a glimpse into where we're at now. I'm just gonna 
Make his feeds up. Everyone's also like, why did you put the hat on? And I'm like, it's comfy. Um, so yeah, I sponged him off and gonna do my jobs and then I'll feed him before I go. Hopefully Fraser came to film for me because otherwise I was just gonna put it on the tripod and it's never as good. So shout out to Fraser yet again. He Fraser literally gets all my content for me. But yeah, it's just kind of the journey of a young horse. Like you're never gonna get on and it's gonna be perfect. Um, which is what I love. But also when you're not in the right mind frame, it can be like quite draining. But um, I always remind myself that he's not misbehaving. I'm just asking the question wrong. And if you want a different outcome, you have to change your approach. So that kind of frame of mind has really been helping me stay out of old bad habits. And instead of, for example, going for that inside rain, I think, no, I'd usually do that and it hasn't worked so far. So let's just apply some inside leg instead and encourage him to reach for it. And I usually do get a better response that way. So it's also like training my mind and my muscle memory um, as well as Chucky. So we're both on the journey together. All right, I'm gonna go do his feeds and then I will probably close up the vlog soon. So that is the end of today's vlog guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I feel like there's nothing really interesting happening at the minute, but I promise there will be some interesting content coming soon. Um, so yeah, Chucky, I just fed Chucky. My phone died. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'm so happy I hit 500 subscribers, which is huge for me considering this is like just a hobby. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!